A layer style is simply one or more layer effects and blending options applied to a layer, such as drop shadows, stroke, and color overlays. Photoshop has more than 10 different layer styles, and different combinations of applications can greatly expand your design capabilities. If you can master these layer styles and have a little imagination, it can definitely make a huge difference. There are several methods to create a layer style. Go to Top Menu, Find Layer, and then Layer Style. In the Layers panel, select the layer and click the FX icon in the lower right corner to add a layer style. Select the layer, right-click, and click Blending option to open the Layer Style panel to add a layer style. Finally, what I personally think is the most convenient method is to double-click the layer and open the Layer Style panel to add Layer Style. After that, you can then select any different layer style on the left, then adjust the parameters of the layer style on the right interface. And finally, click OK to create the layer style. After creating a layer style, Photoshop will display the layer style right under this layer. Similarly, if you want to modify any layer style, you can also double-click the layer style to open the layer style panel to make any changes. There are two methods to delete a layer style. The first is to right-click the layer and click Clear Layer Style. The other one is to drag this layer style into the trash can in the lower right corner. Let's do an example. Here we have some pictures, text, and some layouts to match the lighting, which is on the left-hand side. I add a stroke layer style to the image and set the fill type to gradient. And then try to match this gradient stroke, which on the left-hand side should be brighter and the right-hand side darker. Also, an inner shadow layer style can always make these look a little bit more like a picture frame. Next, for the text, we can double-click this layer and add a gradient overlay layer style. Adjust this gradient again so that the left side is brighter and the right side is darker. Then, if you want to give the following text layout the same effect, you don't need to repeat adding layer style again. You can just hold the Option key if it's a Mac or Alt key if it's a PC. And then drag and copy the previous layer style to a new layer. This way, you can get an exact layer style for your new layer. Layer style can be used not only on different pictures and text. For example, let's say I want to add a basic shadow layer style to all the elements in the picture. It is obviously very troublesome to do it one by one. Furthermore, the layer style of each layer is also different, and the copying method is not feasible. The easiest way at this time is to create a group for these layers. At this time, you only need to double-click this group and add a shadow layer style to this group. In this way, all layers in this group will have this shadow layer style without affecting their original layer style. Rasterize layer style so that the layer style can be completely written to this layer. Unless there are special needs later, or you are very sure that this is the layer style you want, this method is not recommended. After all, rasterize the layer style, you will not be able to make any changes again. In the following videos, I will explain how to use these layer styles one by one, and the application of these effects in design. Also, I will share all these layer style effect PSD files with everyone for free. Don't forget to subscribe and like, I'll keep uploading.